Oh my gosh, you like hit record and instantly forget everything you're about to say. I'm like, what was this topic of this video even going to be about? Love when that happens. Okay, I got it now. Back, I got it now. Ah, somebody was asking me. I'm trying to get the lighting in here because it's dark and you can't see me. Does that help at all? A little? Um, someone was asking me about keto and the keto diet and why I like went on the keto diet. So I went on the keto diet for health reasons. I had some very specific um, health issues that I wanted to address. In addition to switching to the keto diet, I also changed a lot of things in my lifestyle. I cut back on caffeine completely for a while and now I only have like one cup of coffee before lunchtime, sometimes with caffeine, not always with caffeine, a day and that's it. Uh, you know, I don't have a lot of caffeine and I used to have a lot and I loved coffee and caffeine so that was a little painful. I probably was a little addicted to caffeine because you know, for, when you wouldn't have it, you'd get the headache. So, I don't have much caffeine these days. Um, I gave up alcohol completely. I wasn't really a big drinker anyway. I've always kind of, when I drink alcohol, it makes me sick usually before it gets me drunk. And I don't like getting sick. And sometimes it could be like two drinks are going to make me sick. And sometimes one drink would make me sick. Sometimes five drinks would make me sick. I was just like playing Russian roulette. So I just, you know, I just let that go, but I let it go completely, not even just, not even any alcohol. Um, when I decided like I was really going to tackle my health, uh, what else I, so I went on keto and I think the biggest part of keto that probably has been helpful for me is that it really eliminates sugar from all sources, which looking back, I probably you know, was having too much sugar, you know, in the form of fruits and other things. And then carbs. Um, when you're a vegetarian, you tend to eat a lot of carbs because you don't eat meat. Uh, keto diet is also high in fat. And I was trying to, you know, boost some stuff uh, related to like my brain health and my neurological health. So the brain and all that's really um, made of fat. So that's another kind of thought on the keto diet. And so for me, uh, you know, a, le a year later and pretty much all of the health concerns I had when I started this diet, and it's been like a year and a half, um, I I've been pretty much symptom free for longer than I know. I know it's been longer than six months. It might be close to a year at this point that I've been symptom free. Uh, but that wasn't just changing my, you know, my diet. I also got myself on a very regular sleep schedule and I stopped not getting enough sleep. I started taking care of my mental health more and um, surrounding myself with the, like, a more relaxing environment and just changing my lifestyle, my job, everything just changed everything. Um, so it's not just uh, changing my diet, but I take my mental and physical health very seriously. <sighs> Thank goodness. Um, I'm feeling so much better now. But I wanted to at least mention this and also say I'm not saying the keto diet is for everybody. I just am saying that we need to be mindful of the fact that our bodies are basically a food processing ecosystem and nutrition is a very big part of health and you know different foods and different diets can be really good for different health issues and different issues and they can help heal the body sometimes so food is really powerful you know in addition to healing us food if we eat certain foods too frequently can actually make us really, really sick. And it's really important to think about that in regards to food as well. 
um, you know, another diet that I'm on just long term is gluten free. Gluten does really bad things to me. It's not going to kill me, but I'm going to feel terrible in a lot of different ways. Like gluten gives me hot flashes, gluten messes with my digestion, gluten makes me lethargic. Gluten is just not my friend, you know, so I avoid gluten. But if you don't have a gluten sensitivity, there's no reason to avoid gluten. Um, sugar, yeah, sugar's addictive and it's hard to get off sugar, but I have some bad reactions to sugar, so I'm not going to put that back in my diet. Um, you know, just things like that, being reasonable, knowing what works for you, what works for your body, what does your body need? We're all different, so our bodies all need different things and different nutrients and different diets, you know, are better for different health problems. You know, there are diets that people do uh, when they have diabetes. There are diets people do, you know, for thyroid issues. They're all these different diets. And I just want to bring attention to the fact that diet, you know, really just really does and can have an impact on your health. So, you know, if you're having some health issues, maybe, you know, look at your diet, look at what you're eating, try some different things in your diet, take some things out of your diet, uh, put some new things in your diet, and just see how that in can impact your health. Um, anyway, guys, that's it this week. I just want to talk a little bit about diet and food and just say also, I'm not say, encouraging everyone to go get on the keto diet. You know, I just want to put that out there again. I just want everyone to Pay attention to your own diet and your body and how it makes you feel and be healthy. Bye guys, I'll talk to you next week.